Once you know how to do image rollovers, there are multiple things that you can do with them. One of my favorite examples is a disjointed rollover, except in this place I've made it an on-click so it's not actually a rollover. Though you could have had it set with mouse over, mouse out. I sort of like it to stay there once you've clicked. A couple things about this. Let's take a quick look at the code and I'm going to point out some interesting features to this. I've of course done some basic styling for fonts and colors. I have my script and I have my HTML. Let's look at the JavaScript first. Each function is identical. They're just changed for which image that they're changing the larger image to. Unlike the last example, I don't have them going back after mouse off. I have it set to an on click so when the user clicks it that image will stay there until they click another image. So basically each function has a name and then there's only one line per function. We're getting the element by ID large which is what I named my large image and we're changing the source of it from image 1 to image 2 to image 3 to image 4. So Again, once you have it set up and working, I just copy and paste those functions, making it very simple to have a lot of them. Then in the body, you'll notice my image source, I've set the ID to large, and the initial image is set to the first picture. Now, if all of the images were the same size, you'd want to set the size here. I don't, because my images are not the same size, and it would constrain them to those proportions and look strange. So since I have them edited to be the same width, but they're not the same height, I just let them change automatically. I don't set the size. I've put a blank line in there, and then I have in a paragraph, and I have it in a paragraph because everything is centered in my paragraphs, image source, source thumb because these are my thumbnail photos, thumb one, on click, change one. Now you'll notice two of these I've added a link to. And if you add a link that's a hash mark, it's just linking to itself. Let me show you why I do that. Notice pictures one and two are links, pictures three and four are not. So pictures one and two change into a pointing hand three and four do not even though they still work. I like to use the additional hash mark because I think for usability users always know if your symbol changes to the hand they know that they can click on something. If it doesn't, if it stays the pointer they may or may not know they can click. I always believe in giving the user every piece of information that I can. So this is a really simple way to do a slideshow, a portfolio piece. It makes it very easy for you to create really neat effects that load quickly and will work without a flash player.